Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about a question relating to short term decision making. So, I am going to focus on relevant cost of material and advanced management accounting. So, before I get on with the question, please make sure to click the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos on accounting and management accounting lectures. Now let's go through the question now. Stephen PLC has been approached by a company who would like a special job to be done for them and who is willing to pay US dollar 10 million for it. The job would require the following materials. So what is the question? Now uh, one company has approached Stephen PLC and they are offering an amount of 10 million for a special job to be done for them. Now in order to carry out this special job, uh, this special job requires certain materials. Now Stephen PLC has those materials. Those materials they have. Now from this available information we need to identify what will be the cost that Stephen PLC is going to incur. So we need to identify the cost of this special job based on this information. Okay. Now the calculated the the calculated cost of the job is higher than the special offer, then this offer should not be accepted. It is not worthwhile. If the calculated cost is less than the uh, offer price, then this will be a worthwhile project. So this is what we are going to identify. Now let's go uh, by the information. Now let's go through the information and we'll try to identify what will be the cost of this special job. Now let's take material A. So what is given as far as material A is concerned? The total requirement is 500 units. For this special job, you need they need 500 units from material A. Now we need to identify whether these stocks are already available to carry out this particular job. Now the existing stock levels are given. So they don't have any stocks, zero stocks. So therefore to accept this job special job they need to buy this 500 units from outside so if you want to buy this material so what will be the relevant cost the relevant cost will be the replacement cost so replacement cost of 6 because there is no existing stocks so therefore you need to buy so buy means the replacement cost this will be the relevant cost now the material B, so what is given here? The requirement is 500 units. How much is available in stocks? 300 units are available. So therefore to complete the special job, you need to buy 200 units. You need to buy, you need to anyway buy 200 units at which rate? 5. This will be the replacement cost. So 200 units times the replacement cost. What about these 300 units? This is already existing. Can we use these 300 units for the special job? That we need to identify whether these 300 units can be utilized for this special job or not. How do we do that? How do we do that? We need to identify whether these 300 units have been 
used regularly. These 300 units are used regularly for other jobs or there is there is no use or restricted use for this particular 300 units so this is what we have to see now with regard to this material b you are given an additional information so let's go through the additional information material b is used regularly by Stephen plc so which means this 300 units cannot be straight away used for the special job so they have these stocks have been used regularly for other production so and if units of b are required for this job they would need to be replaced to meet other production demand so what they are saying is to meet the other production demand you need to you need to purchase these 300 units so therefore the relevant cost will be again the replacement cost so therefore the 200 units anyway you need to buy 300 units are required for required to meet other production demand so therefore you need to anyway purchase this 300 as well so therefore the relevant cost will be 5 sorry 5 means $5,000 per unit now let's move on to material C so material C requirement is 500 units and again 300 50 units are available so the difference of 150 anyway you will have to purchase from outside market so which is the replacement cost what about existing stock of 350 this 350 we need to identify whether these stocks of material C are being used regularly for the productions or there is no use there is a restricted use on this 350 in order to decide this we need some more additional information so you are given additional information with regard to material C as well as material D material C and D are in inventory as that is as a result of previous overbuying okay excess stocks are there and they have restricted use okay so these stocks are idle they are not being used for other production so therefore there is a restricted use no other use could be found for material C material C there is no use these cannot be used for other production purposes so therefore what is the relevant cost for material C so we don't need to replace this 350 so therefore replacement cost is not relevant so we need to decide whether we need to take the book value or the realizable value what is the opportunity cost the opportunity cost of this 350 opportunity cost is if you use this 350 for the special job you will have to forego the realizable value if you don't use this 350 for the special job this 350 could have been sold at to $2,500 per unit so therefore the relevant cost for 350 will be 2.2.5 which is the opportunity cost opportunity cost of sales revenue forego so we'll have to forego the revenue sales revenue so that will be the relevant cost for material C material C for 150 you will have to purchase that is a relevant uh, replacement cost and the remaining 350 has to be uh, uh, 350 since there is no use 
there is a foregone revenue opportunity cost of revenue foregone which is 2500 per unit that is the relevant cost material d material d is also required for the special job and requirement is 200 exactly the company has 200 units very simple you need to identify whether these stocks have been regularly used or there is no use or there is a restricted use or whether this can be used for some other production purpose so let's go through the additional information the units of material d could be used in another job as substitute for 300 units of material e now this 200 has a restricted use it has a restricted use however this material d could be used to substitute material e so material d 200 units could be used to substitute 300 units of material e now here there are two opportunity costs the first one is this 200 if you use this 200 units for the special job you will have to forego two things one is you could have sold this in the outside market at the realizable value of 6000 per unit or else this material could be used for material E so this could be used as a substitute for material E so what is the material E cost so it says which currently cost US dollar 5 per unit which means this 300 the cost is 5000 so which means 1500 1500 per unit 1500 will be the total cost now here 600 you will forego at the rate of uh, 200 units at the rate of 6000 so 1200 now there are two opportunity cost as i mentioned earlier the first one is you will lose the sales revenue as well as the opportunity to use as a substitute that substitute cost has 1500 so out of these two opportunity cost the most beneficial is using for material E. So therefore your opportunity cost for this particular material is 1500. Okay, so I hope uh, it's very clear. Now let's calculate the cost. So the material A, B, C and D. So let's calculate the cost. Material A, straight away you have to use the replacement cost for 500 units so 500 units times 6 will be uh, 3000 then material B you have to use the replacement cost 200 units plus 300 the total uh, units will be 500 replacement cost is 5 per unit how much is that 2500 the material c material c 150 units at the rate of 4 replacement cost plus 350 you have to use the realizable value of 2.5 so that will be how much so this will be 600 plus this will be 875 so which will be 1475 so 1475 
and finally material d we have to use the opportunity cost the best opportunity cost foregone this is called the best opportunity cost foregone which is 1500 so 1500 so what is the total cost 75 uh, 5 10 14 one remaining 4 5 6 7 8 so 8475 so which means 8 million uh, 8 million 8 million 475 will be the the cost that the company will have to incur in order to uh, complete the special job so however uh, the company the customer is offering 10 million so as i told you this cost is 475 is less than 10 million this is the offer price so therefore you need to accept this offer so this is the answer for this particular question i hope uh, this is very clear to you and uh, i will see you soon with another question so thanks for watching and bye for now